You may have been to Heidi Lau. You may even have seen the noodle dance. But have you ever in your life done the noodle dance yourself? Well, my dad did, and the question on everyone's lips is, did he break the noodle? Well, you'll have to stick around to find out. Hello and welcome to another Chinese food adventure and it's a very, very exciting day here in Sydney because I'm actually taking my parents, dad's here, mom's here, for their first ever Heidi Lau experience. Heidi Lau is China's uber popular hot pot chain. I actually went for my first time ever only a few months ago with my friend Saul in Beijing and we had such a fun time I just knew I had to take my parents to try it out one day. In China, Heidi Lau is super, super well known for the service and going above and beyond. Like there were manicures and shoe cleanings and you free snacks while you wait and oh, and the teddy bear. And the teddy bear when oh, you're. Ah, what if I can have a teddy bear? For those of you who don't know, if you dine alone at a Heidi Lau, they actually put a, like a, a little toy opposite you, a big fluffy toy, so you don't feel lonely. In my opinion, it would make me feel even more lonely if I'm that Nigel no friends with yeah. with a big toy opposite. It makes it pretty obvious. Oh, can we have a noodle dance? Oh, I yes. Want a noodle dance. I want a noodle dance. I want a noodle dance too. Can I say what? what? Do I have? Can I keep my no, clothes on? Your, not your noodle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another man's noodle. Oh, say what? <laughs> the thing is, I don't know whether these services will be offered here in Sydney, and I'm very intrigued to see whether the Heidi Lau experience here in Sydney is in any way similar to the Heidi Lau experience in China. So there's only way, one way to find out. Take us to the Heidi Lau. Today's food adventure brings us to Chatswood Westfield here in Sydney, the location of one of Australia's six Heidi Lau restaurants. So another thing Heidi Lau is really well known for is the wait times. It's very, very popular. Usually there's a whole line of people. So here, I'm not sure what the line situation is gonna be like, but I did have to make a reservation online. And the only time I could get a reservation was midweek at 1.30 p.m. Everything else was booked out. Here we go, hot pot. Yeah, hey. right here, Heidi Lau hot pot. Same look and feel. I don't see a queue. And look, they do have the manicure here. It did not look open though. It's a little toy. Yeah, oh, that's the same no. toy I had in China. Look at him sitting there all lonely. How about this one? Table number 26. Sounds great, thank you. And we needn't have worried about a line. At 1.30 on a weekday, most seats were empty. So I'm no Heidi Lau expert. I've only been once before in China, but it definitely does have a similar look and feel to what I've experienced that one time before. This booth concept, you've got your like little trays here, you've got the little place for your iPad. So much like China, the ordering here is done via iPad. And I'm very happy to report the service here is similarly fabulous. A lens wipe lens for my glasses. Wipe. Oh, oh wow. yeah, it's very good. Very considerate, right? Yeah. Very considerate. And do you want a teddy bear next to you? Oh yeah. Do you have the teddy bears? Teddy bears. Oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, it's a four percent. No, she doesn't yeah. feel lonely. She doesn't feel lonely anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're just like those customers that are just, you know, requesting all the things. Is the manicures open? Uh, today, uh, manicure and manicure is no, sorry. Oh, but usually open. Usually, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Manicures might be closed, but at least noodle dances are open for business. Sir. <laughs> I dropped my chopstick. Let's see how, oh, yeah, how long it takes for this to be my face. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Very good service. That took like three, <laughs> three seconds. Very good. Top service. So first step in the ordering process is to use the iPad to choose your soup bases. So these are all the hot pot bases. Oh. So you've got your spicy ones, chicken soup base, mushroom soup base, tomato soup base. We have to get that. Tomato. That is very famous. Yes. Pepper soup base. I'm actually going to get a clear water base. Really? And the reason for that is my friend Saul, who took me to Heidi Lau, he has this recipe where he actually makes his own hot oh, pot base. Okay. And if you're wondering how that's even possible, Saul uses the ingredients you can find at the sauce station to construct his own soup base. You get your ingredients and simply plop it into your clear water base and hey presto, you've got a delicious, unique DIY hot pot base. The good thing about doing it this way is it's also going to be a lot cheaper because the water base costs zero, but all the other ones cost. Oh, <laughs> this is not her first. We ended up getting two water bases and just like that our hot pot became half price. Now it's on to ordering the ingredients for the hot pot. I have to say I'm impressed by the variety of ingredients here. There's definitely something on this menu for everyone. Noodle dance! Oh we've got yes, we need noodle. a noodle dance. We have the noodle dance. Five dollars and ninety cents. That's pretty good. It's okay. Okay. Do we get to keep the noodle? We get to keep the noodle, oh. not just the performance. So I go. booked that? Yeah, let's go, let's do the noodle dance for sure. Here is our list of what we've ordered. 
Oh, is this gonna be delivering the food? Oh, the robot's <laughs> delivering the food. Is that your first time seeing that? It's the first time I saw it, I didn't know. Oh, that's cool. That's something I see in China a lot these yeah. days, but it's so cute seeing your reaction the first time seeing a robot waiter. So cute. Okay, I think it's about time we visited the sauce station. And this is where you can concoct your own individual sauce to accompany your hot pot. And if you're so inclined, create your own soup bases. Here's the soup base that mum and dad collaborated on to create. Okay, so you want mushroom sauce in your hot pot base? Fair sure. enough. Sauce. How much is that much, black bean? We need garlic. I mean, hello. Oh, dad. Oh, oh my god. Okay, garlic. That's Ooh. not enough. My poor that's patience good. tomorrow. Oh my god. Then you got maybe soy. Here we go. Oh, lots of coriander. coriander. There yeah, we really go. Oh, that's good. Yes. yes. Perfect. In the other water base, we did Saul's Japanese inspired hot pot base. If you want to know the recipe for that one, you'll have to check out that other Heidi Love video I did. Oh my gosh, they have bingfen. Oh my god. Oh, that's bingfen. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Wow, there you go. Oh. That's exciting. I haven't seen this before in Heidi Lao in China. That is so exciting. So, this is going to be my first bingfen I'm having in the last like four weeks. So, I've been back for four weeks, I've been craving it, and here they actually have bingfen, which is in my opinion, probably the best thing ever. Because hot pot is spicy and you sometimes you need that coolness to cool down. Not sure how good self-serve bingfen is actually gonna be, but you know what they say, beggars can't be choosers. There we go, we've got our four hot pot bases, our ingredients and our bingfen ready to go. The first thing I'm keen for my parents to try is the famous Heidi Lao tomato soup. I learned from Saul in Beijing that you can actually just pour it directly into your bowl and drink it like you would tomato soup. Oh my God, it reminds me of my grandma's tomato soup. Are you gonna be coming here more often? Yeah, even just for this soup. Mm. Oh, that is my mother's tomato soup. Right I know, there. right? Yeah, it's so nice That's and really sweet nice. and tomatoey and just like really comforting. Uh, my friend Saul, he actually okay. told me that when he was a student, he would come to Heidi Lao and just get one quarter yeah. of just the tomato soup. Aww. And he'd just come just for the tomato soup because it reminded him of home. Yeah. It's also a cheap option if you're a student because you just have to get one thing. That'll cost that. you like $12 and then you go. If you gave me a piece of cheese on toast from now and had that, that takes me back to my childhood. Straight back. How about a yotel? Oh, yotel. Dip your yotel oh. into your soup. That'll be nice. Yes. No cheese, but that looks like it sounds crunchy. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. This yotel is so good. So crispy on the outside and airy on the inside. And with that tomato soup, yeah. And don't feel like you need to ration yourself here. The soup will get refilled as soon as it gets low. So that's our tomato base. Okay. Shall we try Let's your try base? Oh, well, try our base. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit. It does smell like just pure garlic. I feel very sorry for my patients who are going to see me tomorrow. Mum's a dentist. <laughs> Triple mask, I think. It's nice. Mm. I like it. I like it. It's very just nice. garlic. Garlic, garlic and chili. So if you like mushroom, chili and garlic, well, this is the soup base for you. Now I guess all that's left to do is start putting things into our hot pot. We started off with the famous Heidi Love shrimp paste, which our lovely waiter helped us to divide into small balls and put a few in each pot. There's a lot of chili there. Dad was keen to try oh. our spicy hot yeah, pot first. Ooh, that's mm. got numbing in it. Mm. But that shrimp is so... Yeah. Mm. Um, the shrimp is so tender. Oh, wow. wow. So you know what? That's spicy, huh? Yeah. The best possible thing you could do for your mouth right now is get some of this bing fin. I'm excited to see how it tastes. Mm. You know, for a pot of bing fin that's just sitting there, it's not a bad taste. It's refreshing and it's got that nice texture. Not a bing fin to change the world, but a nice bing fin for now. And a couple of pieces of watermelon in here as well. Nice. Good lord, watching dad try and pick up a spoon of this jelly was honestly painful to watch. Ah! ah. Nice. I don't think it took away all the spiciness, but it definitely toned it down. As I've learned from my time in Chongqing, the only thing that can really take away spice is time. That's good. If you had a glass of this, yum, that'd yum. be good. You just got nice. a little... Yeah, a little bit like... <laughs> Bill, that's yours now. <laughs> It was around this time that our waiter unexpectedly dropped off a gift to our table. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, oh that's cute! <laughs> Look, that is so cute! I've heard that at Heidi Lao you get gifts sometimes, but I personally haven't experienced it. So I feel very honoured to receive this bobblehead today, and I will keep this with me for now. <laughs> What's next? 
This one. Duck intestine, one of my favorite hot pot ingredients. Are you gonna say that? I'm gonna go comforting first. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, two, you need a bit three, of comfort. Four. So this duck intestine only needs 15 seconds and it's important you don't cook it for longer, otherwise it'll become chewy and rubbery. Here at Heidi Lau, if you're ever unsure how long to cook something, you can always refer back to the iPad where there are cooking times for each ingredient. Very handy. Just think of it like a crunchy noodle. I don't hate it. Yeah, it's good. So, so you I, like this, don't you? I love this. This is really good. So I'm going to put it in a spicy one because I love my spice. I love that crunch. You like the crunch? Mm, I love the crunch. The other thing I've got to say, the service is so good. I, I think every time the, the water glass gets close to empty, it's been filled up for us. Amy dropped her chopstick on the floor and it was picked up within three seconds. It's really oh, fun. It's I, I totally, fun. and we're not being sponsored. We're not even being paid for this meal. In fact, Amy's <laughs> paying for this meal. So there's no sponsorship involved, but it's really fun. It's, it's good. It's so much fun. And if you've never done a hot pot before, it's a really easy, introduction to without feeling overwhelmed by it because there's so many helpful people here that will help yeah. you choose things what's good and how to mix things honestly it's absolutely fantastic and if you buy yourself come by yourself you get a little you get a, get a, friend. Get a friend so just for reference this is how it would look if you're here at Heidi Lau by yourself I recommend this this is really good you come here often I like your hat what are you doing after <laughs> Now the real feasting begins. I always eat so much at Hot Pot. I honestly don't think it's humanly possible to walk out of a Hot Pot restaurant feeling comfortably full. And with this refreshing bing thing to cleanse your palate after every mouthful, I feel like this time I ate even more. My third bowl of bing thing. What you doing over here, Dad? I like daughter like father. Who doesn't like a bit of bing thing? Right? Yeah, right. And by the way, Dad will only drink bing thing like this now. <laughs> You're probably wondering, hey, how about that noodle dance you ordered? Well, have no fear, it's still coming. The noodle dance always comes at the end of the meal to finish you off with a shot of carbs. And music! Now, I've personally only seen one other noodle dance before, but I have to say, this noodle dancer in Sydney went above and beyond. Everything from synchronizing the noodle to the music, the wide variety of noodle movements he performed, the effort put into the performance. This guy definitely delivered a performance that my parents and I won't be forgetting anytime soon. Oh my goodness, Dad is actually gonna try this noodle dance. It's fair to say mum and I were a tad worried, but dad pulled off this performance with the confidence, enthusiasm and gusto of a seasoned noodle handler. Look, he even nailed the helicopter. All the while, mum was like completely freaking out. But in the end, we got through it with the noodle unbroken. Dad, I've never been so proud. You did great. I did the noodle dance. You didn't break it. So mum, did you like watching dad play with his noodle? It was very entertaining. It's not that first radio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, judging by your noodle work, I reckon it's your first radio. Well, I've never had to play with a noodle that long. <laughs> <laughs> See how quiet I'm staying on this one? You did good, Dad. Yeah. I think I just pulled it just the right amount. I thought you, I honestly thought you would break it. Give me a thumbs up like a thumbs up if you like the noodle dance. Yeah. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. How I feel right now after a big meal of Heidi Lau. <laughs> just want to go, just go to sleep. Hello. But of course, a trip to Heidi Lau isn't complete without visiting the bathroom. Don't worry, it's not what it sounds like. Yes. Okay. So this is what I expect from a Heidi Lau. Well stocked. Got your mouthwash, your dental floss, cotton bud. Oh, a comb. You got there, Dad. Oh, you you took yeah, a comb. Well, they were there. I've, I've mouthwashed. <laughs> Minty fresh. Yep. I got toothpick. Yep. Oh, and a good comb. I really am your daughter. Yeah. I did the exact same thing. I've just look. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad Thank that you, you enjoyed us. this experience. And uh, yeah, we will see you next week. And yeah, until then, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.